If you're looking to capture outstanding audio with your videos and your camera allows you to connect an external microphone, it is always a good idea to use that option. My name is Tom, this is The Enthusiasm Project, and today I'm gonna give you some sound advice for your sound settings. And this is going to be a pretty broad overview since I didn't wanna limit it to any specific camera model, but the basic concepts should hold true for pretty much any camera that has an external microphone jack. I'll be walking through the settings using my Canon EOS R, but pretty much any relatively modern Canon camera has almost the exact same menu system. And if you're using a camera from a different manufacturer that's not Canon, your menus might look different and some things might be called other things, but the basic concepts are going to be the same and the basic settings are also going to be the same. So the first thing to do is to go into your menu and if you haven't done so already, I am in the movie recording mode, not the photo mode, go into sound recording and switch that from auto to manual. Auto sounds good because it means that the camera is going to adjust the audio levels automatically, but unfortunately it doesn't usually work that great because the camera is trying to predict the sound that it's hearing. So if things get quiet or things get loud, it increases and decreases the gain accordingly. I have found that that introduces a lot of gain noise, like a lot of background hiss. And I found that, especially with Canon cameras at least, it tends to be a little too loud, which causes clipping and distortion that you can't get rid of when you're editing your video. And now it's time to make some adjustments to your mic itself. If your mic has a gain setting, like my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, I recommend using the plus 20 decibel option or something similar, and that's gonna increase the mic's overall sensitivity to sound. Now that your audio is set to manual, you can go to your record level and adjust it until your audio levels hit negative 12. This camera with these levels right here, the microphone is actually facing the table down here, so it's not going to be super accurate, but in general, I have found that with a Canon camera at least, I've never really gone above the one quarter mark. And typically what I've actually found is that I will be one to three clicks from the lowest setting. So it almost seems like it's not on at all, but is when I plug in an external microphone, it gets me the level that I want. Now, not every camera is going to have an audio meter that shows numbers. Some of them might have some kind of marker, like the green dot when I'm in the live view display of my EOS R. Either way, there should be something that's telling you this is where you want your audio levels to be averaging out. And the reason you wanna set things up this way is because then you're going to be relying on your microphone's preamp and not your camera's preamp. And the reason you wanna do that is because a microphone is a one trick pony. It's designed to capture high quality audio, whereas a camera is designed to do a whole bunch of things. And as much as us video shooters like to think that we're the center of the world sometimes, the reality is when it comes to especially hybrid cameras like this that do photo and video, most of the customers that buy these cameras use them for photos, not for video. So when you think about that, if Canon needs to make this camera that does all these crazy things, takes great photos, shoots all these video frame rates, how much can they also invest in putting in a great audio preamp that statistically probably isn't going to actually get used that much? I don't have anything, I thought I was gonna say another point, but that's kind of it. How, how much effort are they gonna put into something that's probably not gonna be used that often? Whereas your microphone, its only job is to capture great audio. It's probably developed by a company that specializes in audio, which means its audio settings are going to be better usually. And again, this whole setup does depend on what specific microphone you're using. So you might need to experiment a little bit. The Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and pretty much any microphone that has its own power source will allow you to adjust the gain setting pretty easily and keep your microphone's level low. But if you're using something like the Rode Video Micro, that doesn't have its own power source. It relies on the camera for power, which means you might have to boost the camera's gain levels a little bit to hit the level that you want. And of course, now that you've got your camera set up, make sure you are using your audio meters in whichever editing software you're using. In Final Cut Pro, just press Shift Command 8 to bring up the meters. And then just like with your camera, it's usually best to keep voice levels averaging around the negative 12 decibel mark. So regardless of what it sounds like coming out of your computer speakers or your headphones, those meters are gonna tell you what it's actually gonna sound like across 
the widest variety of sound systems. And some cameras like the EOS R also give you the option to connect headphones to monitor your audio recording to make sure things are sounding good. But I usually actually like to take it a step further and record a quick test clip that I put into my computer and I check in Final Cut and on my computer before I actually start recording. And from here, your camera should be all set to capture some really great audio for your videos. Of course, what I can't stress enough is make sure you know your specific equipment, whichever camera you're using, whichever microphone you're using, spend some time, look up some tutorials for those exact pieces of gear to learn all the ins and outs to get the best quality you can get from them. And while we're on the topic of great audio, let's quickly touch on microphone placement. Be sure to learn the pickup pattern for your specific microphone. The Rode VideoMic Pro Plus that I'm using right now is a directional microphone. That means it's designed to pick up sound coming essentially from directly in front of it while rejecting sound coming from the sides and especially from behind the microphone. And chances are, if you're recording video, you're using something with a similar pickup pattern, if not the exact same microphone. So the best thing to do is keep it as close to your subject as possible without actually being in the frame. If I tilt the camera up only slightly, the microphone is just right here and it's actually pointed down in front of my face. I used to position the microphone more directly this is the microphone. I used to position the microphone rather than down, more directly at me because it just kind of made sense. So it was sort of up here, more horizontal, but that didn't work well for this specific microphone because it can still pick up quite a bit of sound from the sides. And so it was picking up the echo from the room a bit more. So by positioning the mic like it is now where it's facing down in front of me, I found that it does improve the overall audio quality of my videos and also what, Another thing I used to do was position it kind of where I was sitting in my chair and then I would lean forward and talk in my videos and now the microphone is pointing towards the top of my head. So I position it in front of me, essentially thinking that the sound waves are coming out of my mouth and that's what it is picking up. So it sort of seems strange. You don't necessarily just wanna point it directly at the person's mouth, but kind of downward in front of them. And that's gonna help you get the best sounding audio because these are really good microphones, even if you're not using this exact same one. Anything that's kind of like this is probably pretty capable of delivering really good results. And I do wanna give the obligatory disclaimer that I'm not an audio engineer, but these are the settings and techniques that work great for me as a one person crew. Oh, and if you really wanna make sure you get the best audio possible, I really recommend getting one of these little bubbles that mounts on the top of your camera. That way you can always be sure that your audio is level.